Hello everybody, it's Sarah and I am obviously in quite a different place uh, from where I'm usually sitting and the reason for that is that I did the booktube thing and I got myself a TBR card. Uh, this obviously isn't the whole card. Uh, I just already took it out of the box. And so I thought what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna be building my TBR card, maybe already filming it, we'll see how much time I have because I have to leave in like 35 minutes. <laughs> um, and while I'm filming this TBR card, I'm also gonna talk to you. Originally I thought about doing a Q&A type thing, maybe, but uh, then I didn't get any questions, as I usually don't on Twitter. So that idea went down the drain, but I did remember that I still have to film the mid-year freakout tag. So you know what? I'm just gonna chat to you about the best and worst books and my goals and so far, how this reading year has been going so far, what my plans still are for the rest of the year. And while I do that, I'm gonna film my TBR card uh, and hopefully not have too much noise on the side. So yeah, let's get started. So the first question obviously is the best book I have read so far in 2022 and that's actually kind of hard to say. Like I feel like mostly my reading year like feelings wise has been pretty mediocre so far but then when I think about you know the good books that I've read so far this year, there were some really good books among them. I mean, the first one, um, because it's one of the most recent that comes to mind, is Siren Queen by Nivo, which absolutely gorgeous, such a good book. Like, everyone go and read it, especially if you're like into magical realism and very whimsical magic systems, um, where it's not really about the magic and the magic isn't so much used within the book but it's really more that the magic is just an integral part of not just the world building but the storytelling in general so yeah siren queen absolutely amazing and then also the first book i read this year the liar's knot was also such a good book absolutely amazing it's the sequel to the mask of mirrors um and the second book in the rook and rose series which i learned recently that the third book is gonna be pushed back until 2023 or like sometime in early 2023 i think march or so and that makes me kind of sad because i had hoped it would come out sooner but apparently not um but anyway so yeah the Liar's Knot was also absolutely amazing. Loved that sequel. I thought, you know, The Mask of Mirrors was one of my favorite books of 2021. And I really thought the authors wouldn't be able to top it, but they 100% did. Absolutely loved it. So yeah, I would say those two books are my favorites so far of 2022. Sometimes I should go and read ahead on the questions because the next question is best sequel you've read so far in 2021 and yeah obviously The Liar's Not. Uh, it is such a good sequel. I really loved how you know the, the motivations were still generally somewhat the same for all the characters but you know, this slightly changed. I love the mystery aspects of it, um, where, you know, you question a lot of characters' motivations as well. Um, I loved how the relationships developed, like, the relationships of all kinds, uh, both platonic as well as romantic relationships. And it's just, it's just a really good sequel, <laughs> I have to say. And so, as I said, I'm really, really excited for the third book. Next is my favorite reread of the year so far, and that obviously has to go to A Chorus of Dragons, the first four books. I couldn't tell you which one of the four was my favorite favorite uh, in terms of reread. Um, probably the fourth, like the second or the fourth one. Um, the second I just loved a lot because I enjoyed it way more than I did the first time around. And then the fourth one just ended up, you know, after having reread everything, the fourth one just ended up being my overall favorite in the series. But yeah, obviously I started this year by doing a reread or a read along for the entire A Chorus of Dragons series to prepare for um, the publication of the fifth book, which honestly is also a contender for 
favorite sequel of the year uh the discord of gods but i just enjoyed the liars not a little bit more <laughs> sadly um well not sadly because you know a lot of great books but anyway um yeah my reread of that series was definitely definitely the favorite reread i have done so far this year even though i have reread quite a bit already um but most of them were like robin hop books and yeah those rereads were kind of a fail i have to say next question is a new release i haven't read yet but want to and on the top of my list actually is uh the speaking bones by ken Liu, which is the final book in the Denelian dynasty and then also i think it's called godbreaker um is it yeah i think it's called godbreaker like the third and final book in the god king series chronicles by mike brooks um the thing is i really want to reread the first two books before i read the third one uh and so i didn't get to it yet and also i have some friends who i maybe might wanna um try to convince to pick up the series and so i'm hoping that maybe we could buddy read it so yeah that's why i didn't uh pick up the first two books for a reread yet and why i didn't get around to reading the last book yet next question is a new release you wanted to read but aren't sure about anymore uh and actually there are quite a few books uh that i wanted to read and now it's not just that i'm not sure about it anymore i just straight up don't want to read them anymore um first is silk fire by Saba eller i believe is the author's name um which you know there was a whole book twitter drama around that and yeah first of all i just have seen a lot of bad things about the book um, not just even about the contents or that it's problematic or whatever but just that it's badly written and i just didn't like how the author acted during all of that and um so it's less that i think the author is problematic or whatever i just <laughs> didn't like how he acted um then also wrath goddess sing which is another one um where there was some things that you know there's some like the way some stuff is handled isn't the greatest um also that is a greek myth reimagining and so yeah those are the main two books i think i can think of right off the top of my head next is my most anticipated release for the second half of the year and i could go with the very very boring answer and say babel because i think that book is almost everyone's most anticipated release uh for the second half of the year but aside from babel i'm really excited for the first binding by rr verdi which is another adult high fantasy that's um inspired by south asian like history and culture i'm not sure what it's about exactly but just the way the author talks about the book on twitter just makes me really excited for it so yeah very excited for that one so the next one is the biggest disappointment of the year and i have to be honest i haven't really had like a huge disappointment this year so far i would say like there were books that i didn't really enjoy all that much but most of those books weren't books that i was overly excited for or anything um they were mostly books that you know from the very beginning i was just picking up because i wanted to see what they were so you know there weren't books where i thought i would love them right off the the bat because i didn't really know a lot about them i mean maybe i could call it one of my biggest disappointments how much i actually didn't enjoy my reread of um robin hobb because yeah i mm -hmm, i had hoped it would go better to be honest next one is biggest surprise and again i don't really have like a huge surprise in like any of the books that i had so far this year it was mostly just you know what it's it's whatever and the books that i loved i knew i would love and the books that i didn't enjoy were just books that i ended up randomly picking up i mean i guess one disappointment but 
I don't know if I would call it a disappointment. Like one of the books I liked the least this year um, is Lord of Snow and Shadow by Sarah Ash. But again, I don't think you can really say it was a disappointment because I picked it up on a whim. Also, I'm kind of struggling here right now with the <laughs> screws, so I'm sorry if it's very loud right now. Next one is favorite new author, um, debut or new to you. So the thing is, like, I only call an author a favorite author if I've read quite a bit by them. And then I have authors where I'm like, okay, they could potentially become favorite authors. So an author who I've read stuff by before, but who has now become one of my favorite authors, period, is Jen Lyons. Now that I've, you know, finished A Chorus of Dragons, um, I feel okay in saying that. And then also another one I have is Nivo, where now that I've, you know, read two standalones by her and two books in the Singing Hills series, I'm feeling, once again, okay in saying or stating that she is definitely now a favorite author of mine. Then in terms of authors that have the potential to become favorite authors, I think um, Fonda Lee probably, definitely, Ken Liu also, um, probably, definitely, uh, you know, I, I really enjoyed, I have already finished the Greenbound Saga, so I guess I could start calling her one of my favorite authors, Fonda Lee is who I'm talking about, but to be honest, when it comes to Fonda Lee, I, oh, that's why, wait a second, Ah, damn it. <laughs> now I notice why this isn't working the way it's supposed to. Um, anyway, where was I? Yeah, right, Von der Lee, um, I don't know, I, I didn't absolutely, absolutely love the Greenbone saga the way a lot of people did, so I'm not exactly sure um, whether or not I should actually call her a favorite author yet. But, and the same goes for Ken Liu. I have not yet properly finished uh, the Dandelion Dynasty, so I want to wait at least until I'm done with the series before I say, you know, is he my favorite author or is he a favorite author or not? But those two definitely have potential. So next is newest fictional crush. And to be honest, I don't crush on that many characters anymore, but like, I mean, I already loved Grey after reading The Mask of Mirrors, but after The Lie is Not, yeah, yeah, I'm kind of crushing on him. He, he's just so sweet and I love him a lot. <laughs> and then the next question is newest favorite character and for that one I would say Isabella Trent or Isabella Camhurst from the Memoirs of Lady Trent series. I read like four out of the five books this year. I think I read four out of the five books, right? I only read the first book last year. Anyway, um, I really love her character. I love how pragmatic she is. I love how she's just very straightforward and yet still has a lot of passion in her and it's just I really enjoyed reading about her or like from her perspective. So the next one is book that made me cry and I can't think of any books that really made me cry this year to be honest. Um, so I'm just going with the most recent which was Homegoing by Yak Yasi and yeah the second to last chapter really really got me with this one. Um, yeah. That one did indeed make me cry. Book that made me happy and for that one I would go with The Discord of Gods, the last book in the Denelion Dynasty um, series. The reason for that is that, you know, we have like the trend in fantasy right now is very much dark fantasy and very much grim dark, but The Discord of Gods is just so hopeful and, you know, you don't have to fear for the characters in the same way you have to fear for them in other books. Um, mostly you just have to fear for their emotional well-being, to be honest. 
and yeah i just thought that was a really nice and relaxing experience while reading also i'm kind of moving through these questions more quickly because i have to leave in nine minutes so yay um also oh there it is i had lost a screw um so two more questions the most beautiful book you've bought so far this year or received um okay wait a second okay so this one technically i bought last year because i think you ordered it no in november last year but i only received them this year and the most beautiful book by far i got this year was the madeline miller illumicrate um box set this is the box and it's just i mean look at this gorgeous or these gorgeous gorgeous books i absolutely love especially the edition of the song of achilles and you have the quotes on the side so yeah by far the most beautiful one i got this year so the last question is what books do you need to read by the end of the year and for that one i mean there's not really any books that I have to read by the end of the year, but as I said, I want to read or finish um, The God King Chronicles. I want to finish um, the, what's it called? The Dandelion Dynasty. So yeah, there's some books that I want to finish by the end of the year. I obviously want to reread um, my, or do my reread of A Song of Ice and Fire. And I also want to read Orientalism by Edward Said. But yeah, that, that's pretty much it as far as it goes for books that I would say I have to read by the end of the year. Um, yeah, I'm just... I'm not that fussed a lot of the times uh, when it comes to when I have to be finished with a certain book. So yeah it's whatever i'll get to it sooner or later and now i'm not doing my tbr zero anymore so you know i also don't have that project anymore and a lot of the series that i said i wanted to finish this year i already have like the lady trend series i mean i do really want to continue on in the first law world this year as well so there's there's certainly some books on my TBR. And yeah, with that said, that was it for this video. Uh, I am not quite done with building my little TBR card yet. So I don't know, maybe I'll just upload a picture on Twitter once I'm done. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave how your reading year went so far in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, maybe think about giving me a thumbs up and also maybe subscribing. All the links to my social media as well as to my book club of Queens, Witches and Valkyries, where we read one elf high fantasy book written by a woman or gender queer person per month will be left linked down below, so go and check those out. And with all of that said, I hope I'll see you soon. Bye!